from Jacksonville, Florida. It's the 36th annual Gator Bowl with the number three ranked Pittsburgh Panthers taking on the number 18 ranked South Carolina Gamecocks. The nation's top running back facing the nation's best defensive unit. And the Pittsburgh Panthers as they come onto the surface at the Gator Bowl. A look at their record. They began with four consecutive wins. Their only loss of the season to Florida State in Tallahassee, 36 to 22. They bounced back from that and won six straight games. And as you can see, scored a lot of points in the process. Capped their season, the regular season, by defeating Penn State. The final score was 14 to nine. And here come the Gamecocks of South Carolina. A team that, as you can see, lost to Southern Cal, but came back to beat Michigan and Bo Schembechler, 17 to 14. Then they lost a tough one to Georgia, 13 to 10, and went into their final regular season game with a mark of eight and two, bowing to Clemson in an upset, winding up the regular season with a mark of eight wins and three defeats. So the Panthers to kick off, South Carolina to receive. The man in the middle for South Carolina is Horace Smith. And Dave Trout to kick off for the Panthers. Trout will be kicking with what was a wind of about 15 miles an hour just 10 or 15 minutes ago, but has died down now. The flags are lit, and here we go. A low line drive kick toward the corner, taken at the two-yard line by Carl West. To the 20 and out to the 22-yard line, where South Carolina takes over offensively. Gary Harper, the quarterback, and Gary, the key man, as Steve Davis pointed out. Johnny Wright will be the fullback. George Rogers, the tailback. They normally line up in the eye, occasionally split backs. Gillespie and Horace Smith, first and 10, Carolina, from the 22-yard line. That's Gillespie in motion. Rogers, the tailback, and they give it to George right away, and he loses the ball at the 29-yard line. And the Pitt Panthers, let's see, have recovered. The Pitt Panthers with Tom Flynn. Number five, the free safety, and with Rick Trocano at quarterback. Artrell Hawkins getting the start at one running back spot. Number 12. And they give it to the other running back, that's McMillan. They had Hawkins in the slot at Pitt with Trocano, who started the season at free safety. Joe McCall will see some action. He is not in there, however, right now. McMillan was the sole running back in that set with White Collins at a flanker spot, number 32. A freshman, Willie Collier, the senior split end. In his fourth season at Pitt, 38-8-1, his record. Second down and eight. Hawkins in motion, and Trocano with a drop. And a screen to the near side to the 32 is McMillan. He gets inside the 25. Up front, they are massive. Jimbo Covert, a sophomore. Robert Faden, number 64, weighs in at 245. Russ Grimm, 270-pounder, was a high school and quarterback. Emil Boris at 266. Mark May, the Outland Award winner. The best interior lineman in the country. And Benji Pryor, an excellent tight end. With McMillan, the sole running back. And Benji goes in motion. On third and four, Trapano to throw it. Good protection. Has a man at the 15-yard line. It is Benji Pryor. He is pushed back but has the first down. Defensively, Ellis Province, Weaver, Allen, and Henderson. No real standouts, but they are solid and consistent. You've seen already what Baxley can do. Cater led the team in tackles. The secondary is a bit suspect, as Ara pointed out. Looks like he's audibleizing. Pitt. Out of a two tight end setup, a flag is thrown, and a pass out to the 12-yard line to Mike Dombrowski. Illegal procedure. Why? Too many men in the backfield. First down from the 21-yard line is Stefano. Throws to the end zone, and no good. Intended for Willie Collier. Second down, 15 from the 21-yard line. No score, early first quarter. The Panthers trying to capitalize on the George Rogers fumble. Fire in motion, and Trapano with a straight drop, and then running inside the 15, gets to the 12-yard line. And too much time. Flags have been dropped before the inception of the play. It's McMillan who gets into the end zone for the touchdown. The lay of game, why? It's still third down. It didn't appear that way from here. Third down and 12. Sopano throwing for Collier. Has him, and he's bumped out of bounds at the one-yard line by Bridges. Now they come up in the eye with McMillan, the fullback, and Archrell Hawkins, the tailback. And Hawkins in motion on first and goal. Give it to McMillan. He's punched up and pushed back. Second down, goal. 
Cano to do it himself. And he's in. So the Pitt Panthers, with Tricano going in right behind Russ Grimm, number 56, the center. And the Panthers capitalizing on the fumble by Rodgers, moving in. So the Panthers on top, 6-0, and Trout makes it 7-0. 10 minutes and 57 seconds remaining in the first quarter at the Gator Bowl in Jacksonville, with the Panthers driving in for the score and leading 7-0. And then this year started the season at free safety and then came over, came back to the offense when Marino was hurt. West coming out to the 19 with it. If you look at the men up front, they've got West Ben Cornette anchoring the line on the left side. Chuck Slaughter is a good one. Joe Doyle out of Wilmington, North Carolina, 6'3", 240 pounder. Mark Austin out of Union, South Carolina. Steve Gattel making an appearance in his home state. Schechter Lee is from Pennsylvania. And Willie Scott, who Carlin contends is the best tight end in the country. And he has great hands. First and 10 from the 19-yard line. Rogers, the tailback. Sweep to the right. And George gets it out to the 26-yard line. The men up front don't think that Green is a one-man gang. Meisner, Boyarski, Neal, and Jackson are very, very good. Ricky, in particular, on the other side. Sinceri and Fidel, the linebackers, with White Thomas. Williamson is the man to watch in the secondary. Rodgers got eight, second down and two from the 27. Give it to George again. And Rodgers, out past the 30 for a first down. Gillespie in motion, and Harper will go to the air on first down and go deep and incomplete out at the 50-yard line. Second down, 10 from the 31-yard line. Pitt leading, 7 to nothing. The up man, right. Gets out to the 49-yard line. First and 10, South Carolina. Off a quick count. Rogers gets into Panther territory. Second down and 7 from the 49-yard line. The fake to Rogers. The pass out to the 45-yard line to Willie Scott. Third and a couple of inches, and Harper will try it himself. Smith in motion and coming the other way now on first down from the 42, and they give it to George, and he takes it to the 40-yard line. Second down and eight from the Panther 40. Rogers tries to cut inside and gets upended. Third down, 11 from the 43-yard line. Harper under pressure again, throwing, tipped, and incomplete. Averaging just over 40 yards a kick. A wobbly kick and a short kick and a fair catch is called for and made with 6.21 to go in the first quarter. First and 10 from the 22. Tricano keeping, turns it up and goes out of bounds. Have it second down, four at the 27. Tricano on a roll. And Rick throwing to the far side and complete out at the 39-yard line. If you saw the Penn State game, lining up in the shotgun, Tricano rolling to his left and throwing well short. Intended for Dwight Collins, who Marino, by the way, is available, is relatively healthy, could play tonight. But Ricky has the job back. Second down and 10 from the 39. Tricano with a lot of protection for Hawkins, but incomplete. Third down and 10. The Panthers from their own 39-yard line, sending Hawkins in motion, and Tricano on a roll. Under pressure this time, and incomplete. Might have been tipped. The rush is on. Hepler gets it away. A low line drive kick that takes a good pit bounce. And South Carolina will be pinned deep to be precise at their own 10. First and 10. The Gamecocks from their own 10-yard line. Pitt leading 7-0 late first quarter. Rodgers bunched up, Sal Sinceri, second down, eight, South Carolina from its own 12. Pitch to Rodgers, back of Wright's block, and George puts his head down and gets out to close to the 19. Third down, call it two for the 18. Wright in motion, pitch it to Rodgers on a sweep, and he's tripped up in the backfield by Ricky Jackson's own one-yard line. His last kick is 21 yards. The pressure's on, but he booms this one out toward midfield. At the 45-yard line, it's Flynn who shot. On first down from the 37-yard line. 
Artrell Hawkins has a hole inside the 30, inside the 25, gets to the 21 yard line. First down pit at the 21 yard line. Tricano rolling and protected well, but throwing out of bounds. Protecting Tricano well tonight, as they have done all season with both Tricano and Marino. Fake throw off on second and 10. Tricano with a lot of time. The prior at the 11 yard line, and he is pushed back. And a flag is thrown before the snap. And four down area. White, still third down. Third and eight from the 19-yard line. McMillan, the sole running back. Collins and Collier both split to the left. They're kind of looking that way, then rolling the other way, but still looking left, and throwing into the end zone and nearly intercepted. It's a great attempt. Dave Trout now with a 36-yard field goal attempt. And it's perfect. So Trout adds three more. The Panthers cashing in with a field goal. 11 to go first quarter in the Gator Bowl. Pitt 10 and South Carolina nothing. Kicking off for the Panthers. Horace Smith, the middle man, back deep for South Carolina. The kick in the direction of Smith, who feels a yard in. Out to the 5, the 10 has some room for the 20. Smith across the 25 and the 30 and dropped at the 31 yard. First and 10 from the 31 yard line. Johnny Wright catch hit napping, but now a long count on second down and nine. And they pitch it to Rogers. Now past the 35 to 40, and he nearly broke it. First and 10 from the 43 yard line for South Carolina. They give it to Rogers again through the middle this time, but bunched up. So the first period goes into the books with the Panthers leading 10 to nothing. Second down, eight. Pittsburgh leading 10 to nothing. The pitcher to Reeves who throws to the 50 and it's intercepted there. The Panthers coming up with the ball as Steve Fidel looks to lateral it and does at the 50 yard line. First down. Panthers at the 50 yard line. Hit ahead, 10 to nothing. And Tricano wasting no time. Look at that protection. Throwing and juggled and incomplete at the 30 yard line. Second down and 10. Panthers from the 50 yard line. Ooh. And Hawkins gets smothered. Ray Rooster Jones, rather, number two. Pittsburgh lining up in the power eye. And then beginning to shift. And as they do, will be the, the, the third delay of game. Third down and 16 from the 44. Chicano out of a shotgun. Protected well again. Throwing over the middle and complete to the 37 yard line to Willie Collier. To the 37 yard line. First and 10. Operating from split backs this time. And down to the 30 yard line goes Hawkins. The Panthers. Second down and three at the 31 yard line. McMillan fights his way for what should be a first down. From the power eye. Trocano keeping inside the 25 and gets to the 21. Trocano, a short drop, again protected well, but picked off at the five yard line by Troy Thomas. Thomas, out past the 10 to the 15 to the 19 yard line. Oh, they needed that badly. Oh, just Ball at the 19-yard line, first down, South Carolina. Rogers, now past the 20, picks up five, ended up its defense. Second down and five. With Gillespie in motion, they pitch it to Rogers again. And Rogers backs his way out to have it third down and two from their own 27-yard line. Rogers looks for the first down, has it, and more. Now they've got Rodgers out and Reeves in at tailback, number 31 on first down from the 35-yard line, and Harper to put it up. Harper throwing into a crowd and complete after the 50-yard line. And first and 10. He's audibleizing now at the line. Broken play, but Harper turns it into a game as he gets into pit territory. Second down and six. Gillespie in motion, pitch it to Reeves. Percy tries to cut inside and slips down again. Carlton Williams, he reads him, then he goes away from him. Here he audibles to a pass. Third and seven, a deep drop and some pressure, and he throws to the 35-yard line and complete for a first down. Very fruitful drive. They have Rodgers back in now. They've been moving without George. 
but he's in again and has the ball. And from the 35, he picks up five more. The entire drive without a huddle. Second down and five. Rodgers again to the left side with some blocking. Gets to the 25-yard line. And have Todd Berry in, the freshman, at tailback, number 34. On first down, Carolina at the pit 25-yard line. Right, the fullback, decked after a gain of two. Second down and eight. Carolina at the Panthers' 23-yard line. Harper throwing to Scott, the tight end. Pushed back to the 23-yard line. Harper going for the end zone for Scott. Incomplete, and where's the flag? We don't see any. There's no flag. It'll be a 39-yard attempt. Leopard did not miss a kick this season, either a field goal or an extra point. Flags are down, two of them. The kick is good, but let's see about the penalty. He did that Off once. Side, it's white, decline. You took the penalty yeah, one time? I, I took Three the penalty, points. we turned around and fumbled on the first play. A place kick all season long. Tanner with a good kick. A couple of yards deep, Hawkins coming straight out with it to the 10. Archwell to the 15, the 20, has some room to the 30-yard line. And ridden down at the 41. Uh, Pittsburgh from the 41-yard line. And Dan Marino has come in at quarterback, number 13. They've been going with Tricano, but now Marino is at the helm. McMillan takes it out to the 46-yard line. Now there's contact there. On second down, it's McMillan. Out to the 50-yard line. Starting quarterback was injured, missed three full games, came back, played in the last two, though Tricano did start. On third and one, a strange call on a roll, and the pass complete to the 43-yard line to Benji Pryor. First down, Panthers at the South Carolina 43-yard line. Marino, again, the fantastic protection. Throws has all the time in the world to the 35-yard line. Marino missing three full games, still compiling those numbers for the season. And they give it to McMillan, looking for room to the outside. Gets down to the 30. That Marino is really throwing well. Both of them are throwing well. They've had great practices here. On first and ten, it's McMillan who gets to the 24-yard line. Illegal procedure. So it's the second time Pitt has been penalized for that same infraction. It's first and 15 as Marino drops back again, rolling, and before he gets blindsided, has Dombrowski complete to the 14-yard line. Panthers leading 10-3, 3.41 to go in the half. Artrell Hawkins cuts back the other way and gets to the 8-yard line. Second down, 4. Dan Marino at the helm for this drive. Sends Hawkins in motion and gives the ball to McMillan who gets to the five-yard line. And a first down. They have it anyway. Nope. I didn't Ooh. get it. They split back this time. It's Marino himself lunging forward and should have it. Yeah, I... Marino throwing. Touchdown. Collier, number four. Boy, they really mixed their plays up well. They really did. They weren't going to take any chances. They had watched that film of the Georgia game, I'm sure. The tenacity of the South Carolina defense. Attempting the extra point out of the hold of Dan Daniels. That Trout's kick is good. I so think the Panthers with Marino leading the charge this time. Down the field, Danny completed four out of four for 39 yards on the drive. Danny Marino is coming in and driving them downfield in five minutes. The kick angled toward the six-yard line. Out to the 10 is Carl West. Flag is thrown as West comes out to the 27-yard line. Not a catch-up. Clipping on the red team on the run back. First down. Dominique Glassingen. So first down from the seven-yard line. And George Rogers is stacked up in the middle. Second down and nine. Rogers on a sweep. George gets it out to the 11-yard line. Third down and six from the 11. Gillespie in motion. Rogers again. 
to the 20 and out to the 24-yard line. Yeah. Shade under five yards of carry. This should be the final play of the half from the 23-yard line. Instead, Harper is going to go deep, launching a bomb, and incomplete and nearly intercepted. Pass interference on the defense. First down. Up they come in their basic formation. Harper going over the middle to Scott. Inside the 30, inside the 20, inside the 10, and he gets to the one wide line, but there's no time remaining in the half. The clock has expired. Unbelievable play. <laughs> what a play. Willie Scott almost had a touchdown, and what a difference that would have made, but time has run out. So the Pitt Panthers up on top by 14. We'll be back with tonight's halftime activities after this commercial message and a word from our local station. Nothing major. And away we go in the second half, and he booms this one. Deep in the end zone, Horace Smith downing it there. They begin the second half with Rodgers, who slips down. Second down, 12 from the 18. Rodgers out past the 20 to the 24-yard line. Third down, seven from the 23 as Harper retreats. Coming to the near side and nearly has it picked off by Fidel. A 21 and a 28-yard effort on his two tries. This one is a low kick, his best distance of the night. Fielded at the 35 by Dawkins, who's off balance, and all the way back to the 20, tries to pick up some blocking and returns it on to the 27. And it's Trapano who gets the call at the start of the second half. First down from the 27-yard line. The fake to Hawkins. Trapano on a roll and throwing out to the 41-yard line, but incomplete. And Trapano rolling left. This time he's pressured. Runs out of the pocket. Has some room. Out past the 25, the 30, and all the way out to the 38-yard line. First down, Panthers from the 38-yard line. Off the play fake. It's Stratano with time. Throwing, deflected, and intercepted at the 37-yard line by Harry Skipper. So there's the turnover that Carlin is looking for, coming early here in the second half. South Carolina has the ball after the Harry Skipper interception at their own 40-yard line. First and 10. Pittsburgh leading 17-3 early in the third quarter. Second down. Seven. Harper under pressure and incomplete. Nobody in the area. Third and seven from the 43. Gillespie in motion on a sweep to Rogers. George to the 45, but wrestled down by Green inside his own 15-yard line. Norman with a high kick, not much distance. Fielded up at the 26-yard line by Tom Flynn. And so the Panthers are not pinned deep. Instead, they're out at their 31-yard line, first and 10. McMillan, 35 to 40, and Randy to the 45-yard line. Draw to McMillan to the 50 and to the Gamecock 48-yard line. Slot prior to the left. They're kind of on a roll. He's got leverage. They'll keep inside the 40 and to the 36-yard line. Dombrowski in the slot to the right. And they give it to McMillan. Second down, six. It came with a pass defense. Tricano, all kinds of time again. Mm. Tipped, and this time caught inside the 15 by Collins, who gets to the 10. <laughs> First down, Pittsburgh at the South Carolina 11-yard line. McMillan to the outside and can't turn the corner. And in place of him at second down. And flags go down again. Illegal procedure. The Rick pressure this time. And incomplete. It was Phil Ellis who put the pressure on. Eight minutes, 39 seconds to go third quarter. Pitt leading 17-3. Tricano. Out of the pocket he comes. Hits Dombrowski at the 15. And he bowls forward down to the nine-yard line. Trout and an angle to the left. Ball will be spotted by Dan Daniels at the 16. A 26-yard kick. And Trout puts it through. So he's two of two field goal attempts tonight. Two of two 
extra points. Eight minutes exactly to go in the third. 20 to three, Panthers. Kick off back deep. Horace Smith, the man in the middle, flanked by Percy Reeves at the top. Carl West on the bottom. They try to kick off for the Panthers. To the near side, to West from the one. Carl out to the 10, the 15 dropped at the 21-yard line. Gary Harper, he's been in all the way at quarterback, going right to the air. On a roll to the left, he's under pressure, looking for Scott out of the 33-yard line. At the 33-yard line, first and 10, Carolina. George Rogers, a gain of three. It'll be second down and seven. So very much with national championship aspirations. On second and seven, Harper. On a deep drop, throwing, tipped, and intercepted out at the 49-yard line by Steve Fidel. He's to the 45, and back he comes to the 40. So the running team has to go to the air, and on a pass intended for Gillespie, Pitt is in business again. Setting Pitt up in good position as Benji Pryor moves to the right side of the line, the tight end. And it's Archell Hawkins getting to the 40. Second down and 10 from the 41. Tocano, he's not going to be conservative with the 17-point lead. Has a man wide open. It's Collins inside the 25, and he gets to the 23. Ten touchdowns. First and ten from the 23-yard line. Give it to McMillan, who has room inside the 20, breaks a tackle, and gets to the 12-yard line. D. Bartola in is the sole running back, 31. And Tocano's going to keep it. Tocano inside the five, gets to the three. It's second down, one at the three of Carolina. As Tocano calls the signal, sends Hawkins in motion and gives the ball to McMillan straight ahead. And McMillan is close and in for the touchdown. Randy McMillan culminating a drive that began after the interception by the linebacker Steve Fidel. Emil Boris and Mark May, the Outland Trophy winner, the best interior lineman in the country, leading away for McMillan to a New Year's Day game. Really turning it on tonight. Trout's extra point is good, 27-3. to I tell you, if there's ever been a great argument, error for a national championship playoff, pollsters do that. That seems to be the main criteria. The Stroud's kick in the direction of Smith. Coming out from the end zone to the 5. Morris to the 10, 15, and that's all. First down from the 15-yard line. And Harper dropped back at the 6. Bill Neal and Calvin Williamson. Loss of 10, second down 20 from the 6. Rogers tries to give them some breathing room, but there is Ricky Jackson, number 87, and in most tackles this season. Of course, a lot of teams ran away from you. That's true. That's very true. Harper, he'll get decked, and it's Williamson again. Chris Norman to kick it from his own end zone. There's a lot of pressure. A low kick. Some confusion as to who's going to make the catch at the 35. And Pittsburgh ahead 27-3. Rick Tricano has played the entire second half, and off the play fake, he's going to get buried, but then he finally does after it looked like he might escape. Rooster Jones in as the tailback, and there is Jones, number two, moving ahead for three yards. He's out of the shotgun now. On third down and 17, it's Tricano. To McMillan on the screen. Hurdles one man. Inside the 30, the 20, and down the sidelines, he goes for six more. Stepping over Pat Bowen and then doing a tightrope back down the sidelines to put the Panthers up on the board again to make it 33 to 3. Trout for the extra point. And he's been perfect tonight. So the Pittsburgh Panthers leading 34 to 3, which interestingly enough was the final score the last time the Panthers win a Gator Bowl three years ago. Bradley, the quarterback from Missouri, Jarvis Redwine, Freeman McNeil will also be there on the 10th of January. Ira Smith fielding it in the end zone. And well, about some outstanding freshmen and sophomores that he had as we were talking to him yesterday. And uh, 
Harper finding Gillespie out at the 38-yard line. First and 10. Harper. And it's incomplete. He's done a great job. Six years at Carolina before that at West Virginia and Texas Tech. On second and 10, going deep, and Smith was out in front. Third down, 10 from the 38. Harper. And again, it's incomplete. We'll go to the fourth with a score. 34-3 Pittsburgh. And we'll continue after this commercial message and a word from our local stations. Carolina on fourth down will have to kick. Chris Norman takes the low snap and gets the boot away. It's another bad one, a low line drive pick, but it's juggled. And a scramble at the 26 and Carolina gets it back. Pitt leading by 31, and Gordon Beckham comes in at quarterback, giving it to Rogers. And George. Of course, I think he was going to use him, and of course he feels that maybe the game's out of sight. He wants to give him some experience. Pitt with 152 yards and 17 points in the third quarter. Third down and two. Beckham pitching it to Rodgers. Ashton blocking out in front. George gets inside the 15, but loses the ball. And Ricky Jackson recovers at the nine-yard line. And appropriately enough, Dan Marino comes in at quarterback now. Let him do a touchdown on one drive. In the second quarter, Artrell Hawkins, the Carolina suffered tonight. Hawkins again. More fortune of fumbling a couple of times. Marino from the 21, going deep and incomplete. It was the Heisman at the beginning of the month, and then the Gator Bowl at the end. Second down and 10. Fryer, the tight end who's quarterbacking the team at the moment. Danny, just a sophomore, one of the best in the country. It's tipped and incomplete. Second and 10. Hawkins gets a yard or so. Took the ball game. Third down and nine. Marino flipping it out to Hawkins. Hawkins, out past the 45, has a first down and gets to the 50-yard line. Good influence uh, the pollsters, depending on what happens in the rest of the ball game. Marino to Collier, and another first down at the 37-yard line. Marino on a straight drop. Wide open and so wide open at the Carolina 38-yard line. Marino to the air again. Going deep, looking for six more, and incomplete. Third down and 10 at the 38-yard line. Hawkins inside the 35 and wrestled down at the 32-yard line. Pitt Panthers on fourth down and five at the South Carolina 32-yard line will go for it out of the shotgun with 10-18 to play in the game and Pitt on top. And instead of a pass, it's Marino to kick it out of the short punt formation. And Danny downing it at the eight-yard line. Rodgers is on the bench. Percy Reeves is the eye back. And Reeves gets buried by Carlton Williamson. The entire defensive front is the seniors. On second down and 14, pickup of a couple. Continuing in the tradition of the city of champions. Beckham's pass is deflected. And then after the 20-yard line, First down, South Carolina from the 20-yard line. Beckham rolling and still looking and throwing across the lane and finding Scott, who gets out to the 32 and a first down. Wrapping up a fabulous four-year career in a blocking roll here as Beckham is under pressure, and down he goes. And who else? Ricky Jackson. Exactly right. I think he had 18 involvements. Second down and 13. Beckham going over the middle for Scott and incomplete. Well covered on the play. And get to it right after this play. Third and 13. Beckham. He's dropped at the 23-yard line. Under pressure. And another bad boot. It bounces back. 
and is picked up at the 31 yard line and run inside the 20 to the 15 by Ricky Jackson who plays on special teams. So Tricano and Marino have done the job offensively. It's been Jackson defensively and it's Marino in there right now giving the Wayne D. Bartola going with his second line backfield. Marino looking for another score but throws this one away. Third down and eight from the 13 yard line. Marino going over the middle and incomplete. Trout, 30 yard effort. And Dave's kick is good. So he's kicked them from 25, 35, and now 30. 532 to go. The Panthers lead 37 to 3. Gordon Beckham, the quarterback. George Rogers on the bench. And apparently done for the night is Beckham. Throws over the middle, complete after the 45-yard line, and wrestling his way into Panther territory, and burst down from the 49-yard line. Beckham throwing out to the 36 and picked off there by Carlton Williamson, the other man who's had a stellar night defensively for Pittsburgh. Second down and 13. Dan Daniels, a sophomore from Coropolis, Pennsylvania. Operating the Panther attack with 4.24 to play, and it's Steve Bartola, the fullback. Third down and eight. Daniels has this one intercepted at the 40-yard line by Pat Bowen. Bowen inside the 20, and down he goes to the 14-yard line. Beckham for the end zone as a man wide open touchdown. And to attempt the point after, he made all 42 this season, but not this time. It's with 3.26 to go in the game, 37 to 9, Pitt. And lead now 37 to 9. Dan Daniels, the quarterback, giving it to D. Bartola. Pulls his way into Carolina territory. Got him to two consecutive seasons that brought eight victories to no other coach had ever done that. That's second and ten. And a non down to Fort Myers. Get him, bro. Get him. To give their opponent a little bit of extra room. Taken up at the 50-yard line and coming back the other way with it is Bowen to the 27. With Bowen bringing it back to the 27-yard line. Beckham intended for Scott and incomplete with a minute 12. Second down and 10. Beckham to the air. And in and out of the hands. Two fellas capping their collegiate careers tonight. Beckham back to pass. And incomplete. Fourth down and 10. Carolina from the 27-yard line. The illegal procedure of the call against South Carolina. And a 16-yard punt return. And a nice block on a field goal attempt. <laughs> Going deep and tipped away. Dan Daniels, the quarterback. And the night has belonged to Pittsburgh, but we have another flag, so. A look at Rodgers, and Daniel's just running out the clock now. And that will do it. As the Pittsburgh Panthers win the 1980 Gator Bowl, and do it cannily, do it impressively. At worst, they will wind up third in the country, and now they'll sit at home and root like crazy for Notre Dame and Oklahoma. Final score, 37 to 9, Pittsburgh.